Hi, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Schmidt, and I would like to welcome you to Paragon Vein Care. We are a part of Paragon Surgical Specialist, a surgical practice that has been providing general surgery and vein care needs for over 50 years to Cabarrus County and the surrounding communities. Our team is comprised of a group of dedicated surgeons, ultrasound technicians, insurance specialists, sclerotherapists, and nursing staff whose primary goal is to improve the quality of the lives of those that suffer from painful varicose veins. The treatment of varicose veins has changed considerably over the past two decades, and we offer the most current, state-of-the-art treatment options such as endovenous laser ablation, ambulatory phlebectomy, and ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy. In addition, we offer cosmetic sclerotherapy for the smaller, unsightly spider veins. These procedures are all done in our office using local anesthesia and light sedation, making it a safe and affordable way to get rid of varicose veins. The incidence of varicose veins and venous insufficiency is actually quite common, affecting up to 40% of women and up to 20% of men. Veins are the blood vessels in our bodies that help return the blood from our lower extremities back to the heart. There are small valves within the veins that are crucial for this function and factors such as family history, pregnancies, hormones, and the ongoing effects of aging and gravity cause the valves to not function properly. This results in the blood not getting up out of the legs like it should, causing the veins in the legs, ankles, and feet to become engorged and bulged with blood. This also creates heaviness, swelling, pain, and cramping in the legs, as well as restless leg syndrome. The treatment goals when dealing with varicose veins are to accurately identify which veins have valves that are not functioning properly and direct the treatment options for those veins. These veins will never work again like they used to, and the valves unfortunately cannot be repaired. However, if we treat and remove these bad veins, the blood that was in these veins causing symptoms and bulging is then shunted to the good veins. The end result is that the circulation in the legs is improved and the blood flows more efficiently, leaving legs that feel better, have less swelling, less pain, and no more bulging veins. At your initial visit, we will meet and discuss the symptoms that you are experiencing, as well as gather information about your past medical history and other pertinent factors that may be contributing to your vein issues, as well as other medical conditions. We will perform a physical exam and if indicated, a complete ultrasound of your lower legs. This ultrasound is painless and is the best way for us to look at the veins, to see how the valves are functioning and thereby determine which veins are suitable for treatment. You will hear us referring to the term reflux quite a bit. This is not the reflux associated with indigestion and heartburn, but rather the condition of the blood falling back down the veins or refluxing instead of properly returning to the heart. The ultrasound is used to see which veins are refluxing and takes approximately 45 minutes to perform. As part of your consultation, we will review the findings of the ultrasound and discuss the treatment options that are best suited for you. The older, traditional way to treat and remove varicose veins involved a lengthy, painful procedure called a vein stripping. This surgery had to be done in the operating room and required the patient to be completely asleep using general anesthesia. Fortunately, advances in laser and ultrasound technology have made the traditional vein stripping a thing of the past. Vein stripping has been replaced with a procedure called endovenous laser ablation. Through small two to three millimeter incisions, a catheter with a laser fiber is inserted into the varicose vein. We use a local anesthetic technique called tumescent anesthesia, which results in complete numbing of the vein to be treated. You do not feel the laser procedure, only a few numbing shots around the vein. The entire procedure usually takes between 30 and 45 minutes, and you are up walking immediately with minimal activity restrictions. The mild discomfort that results is adequately treated with a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication like ibuprofen. The procedure works 98% of the time and has minimal complications. The main risks are infection, bleeding, and a 0.5% risk of deep vein thrombosis. We give complete post-operative care instructions and follow patients closely with a follow-up ultrasound done within one week of the procedure. 
patients with varicose veins and bulging insufficiency often have the large, bulging, painful veins that we commonly associate with varicose veins. These veins require a special surgical technique called ambulatory phlebectomy. This is also a procedure that is done in the office, and as surgeons, we provide a level of expertise and experience that is not found when non-surgeons are treating varicose veins. This surgery is also performed with small, three to four millimeter incisions that do not require sutures and are barely noticeable after several weeks. We also use tumescent anesthesia for this procedure and the risks are similar to that of the laser treatment. A third treatment option is called ultrasound guided sclerotherapy. This therapy is directed towards the veins that are refluxing as seen on the ultrasound but because of their size or location, they are not amenable to laser therapy or phlebectomy. We use an FDA-approved solution called Sotradecol. This solution is injected into the veins with the assistance of the ultrasound. The liquid coats the inside of the vein and causes inflammation, and over time, the veins will scar and will completely disappear. Our cosmetic sclerotherapy also involves injection of Sotradecol, albeit in a less concentrated dose. This is injected into the smaller spider and reticular bluish type veins on the skin surface. Adverse effects from this procedure are usually minor and include pain, redness, and itching at the injection site, and mild bruising. Rarely, around 0.1% of patients can experience more severe complications, such as anaphylaxis, tissue necrosis, and ulceration visual disturbances, cerebrovascular accidents, and deep vein thrombosis. While these risks are very rare, we take them seriously and will counsel patients that we deem are at a higher risk. Patients that we feel are at an increased risk for any of our procedures are advised to wear graded compression hose as their primary mode of treatment. Keep in mind that any medical procedure involves risk. It is the physician's responsibility to measure the risk versus the potential benefits and have a frank, honest discussion about all of the aspects of therapy with you. The procedures that we offer at Paragon Vein Care are the standard of care for the treatment of varicose veins and are covered under most major insurance company policies. Our vein care coordinator and insurance specialist will meet with each patient and discuss their insurance policy, coverage details, and each patient's financial responsibilities. All insurance carriers, Medicare, and Medicaid require a period of conservative therapy. This time period usually runs between six weeks to three months and involves the wearing of fitted compression hose while you are up and about throughout the day. You do not need to wear them while sleeping. The hose help decrease the leg and feet swelling that occurs with venous insufficiency and thereby reduce pain and other symptoms. They do not treat the underlying vein pathology. If your primary care physician has already prescribed you compression hose prior to your visit with us, we can use that documentation to speed up the insurance approval. Once we schedule and move forward with your treatment plan, please be aware that you will need to plan on several follow-up visits and ultrasound exams. These are necessary to ensure that the procedures have had the desired effect, to check for any potential problems, and also to get the best possible outcome for you. We do our best to work with your schedule and can usually schedule dates and times that work for you well in advance. Please be respectful of those days and times and give us at least 24 hours notice if you need to reschedule. We are typically booked out at least a month in advance and have a waiting list for people who want to move up their procedure if someone cancels. With follow-up visits, we require that you arrive 15 minutes prior to your appointment time. On the day of your procedure, we ask that you arrive 30 minutes prior to your scheduled start time. This gives us adequate time to complete paperwork in our preoperative checklist. If you arrive more than 15 minutes past your scheduled start time, we reserve the right to reschedule your procedure. In closing, I would like to thank you for choosing Paragon Vein Care, and please feel free to ask any questions that you may have, no matter how small or seemingly minor. We take great pride in the work that we do, and our success is based on your trust and satisfaction with the care that you receive.